Our next topic is client less SSL VPN on Cisco ASF firewall. So this is our lab topology. We have ASF with three interfaces configure one outside one inside and one for management purpose. In the middle, we have internet service provider with two interfaces and somewhere on the internet, we have a PC one with the IP address 2221 to access these resources through browser. That's why we call them client less SSL VPN through SSL and TLS. So these are the detail. The ASA image I'm using ASA 91516K8CLL. And remote access VPN type we are going to configure as client less SSL VPN. The ASDM version will be 7.33. The ASA version is 9.1516. And the device type is ASA5520. For ASDM, you need Java runtime environment with this one 1.8022 so the first thing we need the basic configuration of isp router so let me open isp router we need only two interfaces to configure also for asa we need three interfaces to configure so enable go to config so nothing is configured we need to configure those things as well so let me go to the asa First, we need to change the host name, outside interface, inside interface, management, and default route. So let me copy and paste. Okay. So the ASA image is ready. Let's go to the ISP router. So in ISP router, we just need two interfaces to configure and change the host name. So let me change the host name. Okay. And two interfaces. I don't need this ISP anymore. So let me close. Okay. Next, we need to configure this web server, which is inside. And this is our resources to be accessed. So let me type the IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. And the DNS is 8.8.8.8.1.1.1.1. And click apply, exit. Okay. And let's verify that it's okay. So it's okay and also let verify the web services and it's accessible similarly we need to configure the remote pc test123 is the password okay and now i need to configure the ip address so let's wait for a while and let me go to open network and sharing change adapter let's go to the adapter properties and uncheck ipv6 sorry IPv6 and go to IPv4 and type the IP address and it should be one two five five two five five and gateway is two 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 okay and if you type eight 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 it's better and click OK click close and click close okay and can we try to ping our gateway so we can let's try restart later and let's click here and type ping 2.2.2.2 yes and can i ping the firewall ip so yes i can ping however i will not be reachable to the services okay because it's not possible so this is the basic configuration Next thing I need to access this firewall. Okay, so show interface IP brief through management interface, which is connected to the cloud. And cloud is connected to here. So if I try to access this one, so it's not available. And the reason is we need to enable HTTPS. So let me copy the script. We already know and paste. I say I want to create a username with admin and password 123 and I want to enable the HTTPS services for the management inside anybody and the user will be tested locally authenticate for HTTPS means so now if I go so now it's accessible however it's showing you this error unsupported protocol to sort out this issue you need to go to keep in mind you need to uh, use Microsoft Edge only in this case.
in window 10 and 11 you will face this issue go to the setting default browse and here click add and type this ip address which you want to allow click add next again it's not accessible next thing you need to allow the site so from the default you need to make them allowed and restart the browser and now there will be a changes yes now it's showing you like this but still the issue is not fixed next thing you need to go to the internet option okay and go to advanced and go to down and enable TLS one and this one and click apply and okay. Now refresh and now more action and you can go to and you can download the ASDM. So let me download ASDM admin and we create this user and let me download and open and now next, next and install and now finish. So it will open automatically. Username is admin password one two three so say unable to launch the device there is a small issue so you need to enable ssl encryption the low one so copy the script and go to the asa and enable this one and now let's go back and try again and continue this time it will open so we are done with this basic configuration okay and if i go back so we done this basic configuration workaround to open ASDM and after that when we open let's start to configure clientless SSL VPN so let's go to our ASDM there is clientless SSL VPN 0 connected so let's go to visit VPN visit and clientless SSL VPN click next and give them any name SSL VPN and outside and click next and we want the user locally so let me type one two three one two three to create another test user click next and policy you can use the default one okay existing one and you can create your own is up to you so why not use the default default group policy and click next if you want let's create our own so vpn policy let me give them this name and click next the bookmark there is no bookmark so we can create our own okay let's click add and there is ssl bookmark give them any name and click add and it should be the first option okay and give them a name so we have only one server to bookmark for that one and it is srv so you can give them any name by the way so srv and the ip address of that srv is so we can copy this one and we can paste an http base and click ok so we create only one with this name and click ok and click ok so this is our ssl bookmark and click next and we are finished so this was so easy to configure next we need to save the setting okay and right now nobody is connected let's go back okay so we done the next step we then this one then authentication then the policy name bookmark we created okay and we choose the server ip then the date one and click ok and save the setting we already done now test them so for testing we need to go to any remote pc and go to the browser and type the public ip address http is uh, 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1, the public ip address of the asfr wall so it will open and it will ask you the username and password so we have two user admin and ali so let them connect okay and we can type the username and password admin and then it will show you and you can access the resources securely so go to advanced proceed and here is so let me type admin one two three and now i access but the bookmark is not showing it should show here anyway we can access from here i will show you how to fix so I can type the IP address of this one. It will be securely forward and I can access. So before this is the TLS apply and after that we access the resources. Keep in mind if I capture the packet, it will be TLS and it will be secure. Even though it's a HTTP, but it going inside the TLS, SSL and TLS. Okay. So it will be secure. Don't think like that. So let me go to view and let uncheck the byte one and type here p 
TLS. Okay, and if I try to access these resources again, you can see it's inside the TLS is going. Even though it's unsecure protocol, even it can be a telnet, it can be anything, but it will go securely using SSL. And SSL is means a TLS. Now the reason is on the home page is not showing our what is called. Also, you you can see now it's showing that clientless SSL VPN one because we are connected here this one. So it's showing one user, and you can click on the detail to go there either monitoring VPN and session. And from here you can choose clientless SSL VPN and click that one. So it's showing you that this guy is connected to to one, and these are the detail, and they are using default group policy or whatever, and it's showing you all the stuff here. So you can monitor from here, and also you can type the command show VPN session db and here it should be web vpn so here you can see the web vpn detail 222 and these are the detail the user connected and they are using the default group policy and default group this one so this why is not showing us the bookmark so you can fix that one and you can go to configuration go to remote access vpn okay and you can go to remote access vpn and here we have Clientless SSL VPN. This is the connection profile we created. Okay, and you can edit this one. So these are the name and the username, default DNS is using, and group policy is this one. And you can go to advanced. These are the general setting, authentication, authorization, and other stuff if you want to change them. And clientless SSL VPN, so you can see all the stuff here. Okay, similarly, the portal bookmark so this is the bookmark we have if you assign them to the admin and also the vpn policy and also uh, default group policy and okay and click apply and let's go back if we can show us again okay i need to log out and see uh, let me log in again with the admin and password is 123 so let me type yeah, so now you can see it's showing us server. So it's a bookmark. You can access the resources directly rather than type here. So this is the way to access these things. And you can fix this always from here. So I assign them to this policy and these user. If you want the Ali user as well. So apply to the Ali user and log in with that one. They said to we verify everything. Okay, and then we access the resources and also the bookmark and verify through graphically and also through CLI. That's it. So this is the way to configure client-less SSL VPN.